Question 1. What is Net Dynamics Application Server? Answer. Net Dynamics Application Server was an early Java-based integrated software platform. Product was developed by Net Dynamics, a Silicon Valley startup company founded in 1995 by Zach Renert and Ofer Ben Shachar. Other early application server competitors, Net Dynamics chose Java as development language for platform. Question 2. What is Dynamic Object? Answer. The Dynamic Object class enables you to define the dynamic behavior for an object at runtime. This class cannot be instantiated directly. Therefore, to implement the dynamic behavior, you must inherit from the Dynamic Object class and override the necessary methods. It allows you to define the specific operations that can be performed on dynamic objects as well the methods to perform those operations. Question 3. Explain the difference between dynamic and var data types. Answer. The difference between the var and dynamic data types is that the var data type is strongly type checked at the compile time, whereas the dynamic data type is type checked by the compiler only at runtime. After declaring a var data type, you cannot explicitly change its type throughout the execution of the program. However, a variable of the dynamic data type can be changed during runtime. Another major difference between the two is that dynamic type can also be used as the return type for methods, for which var cannot be used. Question 4. What is expand object? Answer. The expand object class refers to a class whose members can be explicitly added and removed at runtime. In other words, the expand object class allows dynamic binding of the objects, which enables you to use standard syntax, similar to the dynubj method method instead of using more complex syntax, such as dynubj get attribute method. Question 5. What is Dynamic Language Runtime? DLR. Answer. DLR is a runtime environment that allows you to integrate dynamic languages with the common language runtime, CLR, by adding a set of services, such as expression trees, call site caching, and dynamic object interoperability to the CLR. Question 6. What is system, dynamic? Answer, the system, dynamic and system, runtime, compiler services namespaces are used to hold the classes for DLR. It also provides dynamic features to statically typed languages, such as C-sharp and Visual Basic to enable their interoperation with dynamic languages. Question 7. List the advantages of DLR. Answer. Allows you to easily implement the dynamic languages to the .NET framework. Provides dynamic features to statically typed languages. The statically typed .NET framework languages, such as c -sharp and Visual Basic can create dynamic objects and use them together with statically typed objects implements sharing of libraries and objects, which means that the objects and libraries implemented in one language can be used by other languages using DLR. The DLR also enables interoperation between statically typed and dynamic languages enables fast execution of dynamic operations by supporting advanced caching. Question 8. What are DLR binders? Answer. Binders are used by DLR to communicate with not the .NET framework but also with various other services, such as Silverlight and COM. These services represent language-specific semantics and specify how a particular operation can be performed at the call site. Question 9. What is call site caching services provided by DLR to CLR? Answer. Enables the DLR to store the information of the operations and characteristics of the variables, such as their data type. The call site caching services also enables to check whether such operations have been performed previously to retrieve all the information about the variable. The place where DLR stores these values is called a call site. Question 10. What is Dynamic Object Interoperability Services provided by DLR to CLR? Answer. Enables the DLR to provide a set of classes and interfaces that represent dynamic objects and operations. These classes and interfaces can be used to create classes for dynamic libraries, which can be used in static and dynamic type languages. 